let's learn about all the things on the front of a computer so we can understand what everything is. First and most important is the power button. The power button is usually a round button that we can press in to turn the computer on. Also, on most computers, if you just tap it once, that will cause the computer to shut down correctly. Make sure never to hold in the power button because that can cause problems with the computer. Right next to that, you'll notice a tiny little indicator light. It'll flash probably green when the computer is on. It's the circle with a bar coming from the one side. That means the power is on. Right above that is another light. This indicator light tells you that the computer hard drive is working and it's either reading information, the computer is reading information off the hard drive, or it is recording information onto the hard drive. So we've got the power button, the power indicator light, and the hard drive indicator light. Also on the front of computers there's often ports so that we can plug in different devices. This little symbol here is called the USB symbol, Universal Serial Bus. And that symbol tells us that this port, which is a rectangular shape, is a USB port. We can plug in USB devices like a mouse, a keyboard, a scanner, a camera, or many other sorts of devices. You'll notice these ports are numbered, number one and number two. There's also two audio ports. These accept one eighth inch audio devices, such as a microphone, which plugs into the pink port, or headphones, which plugs into the green port. So the green port is an audio out port, and the pink port is an audio in microphone port. And that's a special kind of an audio in, because the audio, the sound, the signal is going in. Up here we have an optical drive. An optical drive is a kind of drive that reads CDs and DVDs. The optical drive always has an eject button somewhere, and it always has different symbols that tell you what kind of disks will work. On the right hand side we can see compact disk, so this will work with compact disks or CDs. Right here another picture shows us that it will work with DVDs. That could be a movie DVD or a DVD that has programs or other information on it. There's also even more symbols, and if we look closely, these are about this drive being able to record onto CDs and DVDs. If you look at the right-hand side, it says rewritable. That means we can put in a disc, which is a compact disc, rewritable, and it will be able to record onto that disc and write and rewrite again and again. If we had a disc that was just a single time record disc, that would also work. Those are the two types of CD recordable discs. Over here we have the DVD and it says multi-recorder, which means it can probably record on all four common types of DVDs. It even says RDL, which means it can record double layer on a recordable disc. Finally, over here, it says rewritable, RW, DVD, plus R. Plus R is a special kind of disc, and then it says DL. So it can record onto a DVD plus R DL disc. With that, we could store up to nine gigabytes of information onto a blank disk. Those are some of the parts on the front of a computer.